The engine stand has arrived. And it's raining. How's the oil look? It's a thick boy. No water? Removing the wiring Hello. harness. I might be able to use these bolts, honestly. Removing the bell housing. Keeping your lips closed. <laughs> what did you say earlier about my GIs? What? Well, I have to take them all out to get this off. So. Seven bolts. Bell housing cover, six bolts, a little bit of water in there. There's Here we the have the Is that held on with six bolts? Yeah, we don't have to worry about the motor spinning because it's seized. So we can just <laughs> take them off. Crankshaft has six studs in it that the flywheel mounts on. The nuts have washers and they're locking nuts. And they also hold the coupling in place. One of the studs is coming out with the nut. We're getting off to a slow start. We're ready to put the engine on the stand, but they didn't thread the bell housing bolts. They didn't thread the holes for the bell housing bolts all the way through on the engine block. So we're gonna have to retap those holes. The engine stand is ready. The engine's on the hoist. All we need is a tap. I chased the threads on the six bell housing holes with a 3 8 16 tap, cleaned all the rust out. Turns out they were tapped all the way through, they were just packed with rust. The next problem is we can't mount the engine stand bracket onto the bell housing because it's hitting the studs on the crankshaft, so we may have to pull those studs out. We were able to get the engine onto the stand without taking the studs out of the back of the crankshaft. Used a couple of spacer washers in there to space the bottom brackets out a little bit. I think it's going to work. So close. You're so, you're so close in. That 
that hopefully is the bolt holding us back. Well, we gave up trying to get the exhaust intake manifold off, but then we decided to drop the oil pan. Doesn't look too bad inside. Depending on who you ask. Depending on who you ask. Two boats holding the oil pump on. Bolts? You said boats? Two boats. Two bolts. <laughs> Two bolts. Two bolts. Okay, we're back. This is day three of the engine teardown. I brought my grinder. I'm going to try to cut through that intake exhaust manifold where the broken off bolt is holding it together. See if we can get it to come off. If I zoom in here, the problem is right here. There's a bolt head that broke off. The bolt runs all the way through the casting into the cylinder head, and this part of the metal is not brittle enough to break with a chisel. Action. Three hours of grinding, chiseling, and sledgehammering later, off it comes. That doesn't look very good. And that's what it looks like with the manifold removed. There's rust in all of the intake ports. We're gonna call it a night. My dad's garage. Well we were gonna go home but we decided we'll try pulling the harmonic balancer first. You know we had such success with the exhaust manifold that hey why not press our luck. Oops. Okay, try cranking on it. Can't. Yeah. Another fail. We'll come back and work on the balancer on the fourth day of our motor teardown. <laughs>